Okay. Let's uh, get this going. Switch over to destroyers. And yeah, we're just going to roll some destroyers tonight. Mainly because I've been playing a lot of them lately and it's been fun. So I want to continue having some fun while uh, playing some destroyers. So that and they earn money really well and I'm on a credit grind. So I got Charles Von Tell. Charles? Charles? Charles. 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 It's like Charles Leclerc but not quite uh, Charmantel today um, just to try to help with my second to last stint in the Conqueror because I'm almost done with Conk and I would like to be able to see if I can earn another chunko credits uh, to luck, attempt everyone. to earn what's uh, Richelieu what's the deal with the new American BBs there's new, there's more. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. The, like, uh, on on the credit line, because it's a near, it's a new what, tier four, five, and six. The tier five is the Tennessee, which is the other half of the California class. So we will now have, much like how Primal, how Primal is a Idaho, which is the same class as New Mexico, we will now have a a Idaho, or we will now have a Tennessee, which is the same thing, same class as California. Now, what will they be changing in order to like differentiate them? I don't know. They have not told the community contributors any sort of detail about that yet. So, unfortunately, uh, I don't know. SBGS Proto, how you doing, sir? Thank you for joining, as always. Um, so. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see it. Bright side, I know I know a lot of people already don't like all of the like World of World of American warships is is has been a joke I've seen going around. Um but at least we're getting ships that existed and like are new classes, right? The we're only re like I'm really feeling we're only getting a duplicate of Tennessee to to California. Which I'm okay with. Like if that's if that's the direction they want to go um, for what I feel like is the easy update before the next update that will get more complicated, you know, I'll take it. Because they did say by by end of summer we'll have the German aircraft carriers. And if you wanted to um, get your translation on, oh crap, uh, the Morse code in the end of the like the trailer announcement was morse code for in german saying aircraft carrier so i would expect us to have some aircraft carriers relatively soon I, I mean, direct torpedoes to problem solved sir oh, oh. torpedoes dead ahead let's push in hard right here engine boost activated and then, as far as Georgia goes, I'm not a PC player, but on PC, oh, ho, oh, oh. oh, God, six, six K. We do not want to have him see us. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Um, I played two rounds in this in this rank season, had two AFK destroyers, and said, you know what, I'm good. Here. 
Ooh, good for him on that blind fire. Detectability was 2.6, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, there we go. RGA. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. That, there goes, there goes the gears. Okay. Let's play the wonderful new uh, Z35. Yeah. Forget about RGA sometimes, because I'll be honest, I never run it. I find it a waste of money at, at my current moment. I just like, like on my King George, don't have it, won't equip it. Mind you, I don't, I don't plan on pushing, uh, I don't plan on pushing ships in smoke because usually that's a death sentence, but. It, it, like, Z35, she is a magical beast. Also, hold on, I need to, like, do, 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 do rearrange the screens for streaming, because it is not fun trying to crank over on the widescreen that is right here. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm not asleep, I promise. There we go, put you guys up there. Now I can, now I can way easier see the chat. There we go. And hey, look, we're not dropping frames this week, like we were last week. Yeah, she, like, she is becoming a go-to ship for me, just because of how powerful. Okay. Are you just not wanting to come? All forces provide cover for that target. No, don't, don't provide cover for me. Also, if that guy's going to go there, we'll go be the team player and work C because he doesn't want to win his side. Also, because B becomes... Like, we could be very useful at B as a, like... As a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Like, essentially a radar point. Yeah, it's usually a death. Yeah, B cap is usually a death trap. The one nice thing we could possibly do, though, is if we, like, parked ourselves right at, like, we literally beached ourselves and uh, pop our sonar, because we have the 5K radius, we could probably spot the destroyer that's definitely capping B right now. Um, and, like, it'd make him panic and maybe we'd be able to get him. I doubt it, but it would be, like, that'd be the play to make because we can. But, alas, it doesn't appear. Hit him with our corpse. 
are exclusively distraction torps. Beautiful. Zara out there, which like could be fun to take on because we don't. He doesn't have, he doesn't have sonar. Um, mind you, we are getting pushed hard here. Let's repair our engine. Yeah, it would only work if we had shots. And like, given, look at the lemming train that is formed, or sort of lemming train. Kind of just want to lay smoke and we'll let our we'll let quarter pen do its work. Let our other corpse come in. If Nagato, yep, Nagato wants to turn in, that's fine though. We are doing decent damage up on his superstructure, he's about to go down. Yep. Okay, Odin's in. What happened to... Oh, New Orleans went, like, really far. Let's, let's push him to see. Because we, we need a cap. Or else it's going to start snowballing and not in our favor. No, you need to shoot, dude. Team, push forward. Push forward. I need intelligence data. Wait, we're gonna go for that Bismarck. By Odin. Thank you for being a strong Oh, can I will to rebuild you? Can I will to rebuild? Oh god. Italian sea mines. Turn, turn, you fat pig. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. Twenty seconds until we can maybe engage this Fletcher. Like if we can trick him into bringing out his smoke. Fire torpedo. We may get one. No, they ran out of steam.
quiet. We'll start capping B. Looks like our other destroyer is capping A, which is exactly what we want. I think our torpedoes are back up. Yep, they are. Yep, B is open. That's where that's where we're going. Because it's clear our our team does not want to uh, actually push. Fuck, that was a mistake. Five, four, three, two, pop smoke, and not how I wanted to use sonar, but this will do. seconds we have a minute and a half left on the smoke do we think fletcher is still sitting in his smoke because that's the that's where we smoke we could probably set. go from here is get ourselves moving and break break cover or you know get up to speed and try to push the smoke no i think he's fled unfortunately okay cool that's down yep he's right there We didn't win it, thank God, for our lightning there, but we're alive. And we now have... Can I use you to turn? I'm sorry, Colorado. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use you as a turning point. Shouldn't hurt your... Yep, there we go. See, that didn't harm, harm you at all. Dude, Z-35, like, I think the Z-35 is the new Blaskaiwa, Blaskaiwa, Bla, the, the B-ship, like, the Blaskaiwa was a tier 6, all-around good destroyer that was average at everything, and that is what the Z-35, I feel like, is, where it has, it has turned into a, a ship that, it's not really weak in any one particular area, it just works all around. Now let's go have some fun in a weird destroyer called the Orkin, because the Orkin's beautiful and wonderful, and she's a magical ship. Also, is it raining? Nope. Okay. I hear thunder and lightning outside my window, but so you never know. Yay. T61, Icarus, Akatsuki, Akatsuki. Okay. Um, part of me says we should be reckless and go down the center, but we don't have smoke to, like, bail ourselves out. But, like, then again, no one really pushes center on this map. I feel like everyone pretty evenly splits. Or we go kind of towards C. We split the difference, go towards C, and then just kind of be a, a danger and a hazard in that center area. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see how this develops. We got what? Uh, that's a tier five, tier six. Okay, so they may push center then. I 
here's the thing, is Gaming Jack and going towards the objective? Because it doesn't look like he is. So we may just pull our plan and go for the contest the cat plan. No, he's going towards C. Okay, we'll flank then. I like to stick solo just because then there's not as much dead air. Um, and I'm working on some other stuff for, for like, being able to bring audio into streams as far as, like, uh, party, party, party chat, party audio, if that makes sense. So I want to kind of perfect that before I would do any of that. Hello, torpedoes. You know, we're on the right track, it feels like. Also, there's some closer than... Ooh. Ooh, there's someone... There's, there's a sneaky boy here. Right? Or did we just... We just clipped onto that T-61, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. So we're going to swing out. No, I want to be able to capture it separately, though. So running running a third audio line out of my mix amp that then allows me to bring it into... Um, so basically it doesn't... Because if I do it through the Xbox, then it taints the full audio thing. And you, and you lose the game chat. So ideally, what I would like to be able to do is to be able to go in and go, okay, um, audio from that game from the from the party was shit. I we I don't need to to like put that in a YouTube video. Um, and if I, yeah, if that makes sense. Um, so if I if I basically bring it out with a third party line, then ground that line so that the feedback loop doesn't happen so you don't have a constant hiss, then I'm able to isolate it separately. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Where is this destroyer? He's just taking shots. Also, we already lost a ship? Damn. Okay. Oh, is that smoke still here? Yes, it is. Oh no! Oh no! You you sat in your smoke, dude. Torpedoes to port. Yeah, it's definitely a. Ooh. Fuck! You done goofed there. Yep, Akatsuki, that's what we thought you were. And speed up, get on the other side of this island, and then we can see if we can mess with him. Problem solved, sir. We'll do. You don't want to come around the island, do you, bud? Good news, we've captured half the map. It is going well, Biggie. Thank you so much for uh, dropping by, as always. We're uh, we're sticking to destroyers tonight, mainly because they earn money well, and I need to buy some tier sevens. So we are we are we're gonna be a little greedy tonight and stick with what is probably the easier class to earn big big credit numbers on, just because of being stealthy. Like, also, bravo to this Akatsuki. He is... Shoot, 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 shoot
Like, bravo to him. He's playing it right. Good for him, man. Yeah, I'm on, I think, so today I bought Shawl Montel just to be able to help with Conqueror. Good, good for you, Proto. Good for you. Some of us are still grinding, man. I'm, I'm sure you will happily buy through all of the, uh, the new battleships. Um, no offense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have a couple, both tier sixes and sevens that need to be bought. Um, and I'm f trying to focus on the tier sevens because I'm at the end stages of Conqueror and, uh, those late stages are going to go slow if I don't have ships. Thankfully, I was able to get Charles Mantel today and that's helping the second to last boost of Conqueror. And then I just need, uh, the Richelieu to help with the last one and that should be good. Yeah, who's ca who's counting? Who's counting? Clearly you are. But uh Yeah. I I am hopeful. I am hopeful that uh they are like it seemed like they may have teased a new not this past stream but the stream before it. It was almost like they were uh what should we call it? Teasing a new Here, we're going to do something stupid. But it should get a bunch of people to fire at us. Hit the engine boost. Oh, you're not in range. We'll do that. And ideally, that should make a couple of ships shoot at us. Ideally. Okay, well, they have a shit ton of battleships and a couple of destroyers. I was hoping that would lure someone out into firing, but it did not. It was it was a really good stream. I had it on all day while well, for the two hours it was up while playing through Ratchet and Clank, because I am platform agnostic and I'm I've been looking forward to Ratchet and Clank. Um so it was a really good stream. The the big news came at the end. Uh we're getting Basically a split line for American battleships this next update, and then the new campaign reward ship will be the Georgia, which seems like it may break uh, tier seven. So I'm part of me is concerned. Oh, hello, Orkin. We know you well. Um, just because now you're getting Yamato-sized guns now in a tier on a tier seven which means it can be um down tiered to tier six and there's nothing cruisers are going to be able to do when they get down tiered to a to a ship to a, essentially a ship that has the pen of a yamato which should be fascinating if you're close enough we're gonna go ahead and use the reload booster now We got a fire on the Orkin. But yeah, I'm I am concerned for what tier six is going to look like when there's a possibility of a ship that has Yamato guns. Cause that could get real the ugly. Team has taken the lead.
Oh my god. Yep, and there are the torps that we would expect. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh. Kabuki off there. Let's go ahead and start intercepting him. Yeah, they they really need to add a tier, another tier 7 IBM that uh, DD that isn't Japanese Navy because they are uh, quite potent. Or, like, Yudachi was fun. It's not a play style. I'm not a huge fan of that play style. So I would be happy to see something else um, that is there. I am glad we have gearing now because at, at least, like, satiated my need for tier 7 or for like a higher tier premium but I would also just like a tier 7 because you need to have like you can easily throw away a match accidentally in a in one of those ships okay well two destroyers down the other two are on the other side of the map. We are spotted, but at least we have decent torps. How are you doing on health, bud? Good eyes now. Okay. You stay there. I will attempt to protect your flank. Let's get full power going. Please and thank you. Power. Engine boost activated. He doesn't look like he's really shifting path, does he? We're gonna go ahead and do one on the tail, one on the lead. Ooh, five point seven. Oh, okay. I forget just how quickly. Oof. But does he want to change course? It doesn't look like he does. We will take it. And I think we led those other torpedoes where they may come in and hit him now. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Come on, other torps. I believe in you. I believe in Harvey Dent. Hey, Chicken Strips, how you doing? Oh, it's Santi! How you doing, Santi? We hit him? No, we missed him completely. Okay. Ganize, how are you doing? Okay, still can't do will to rebuild to you. 20 seconds on corpse. Like, do we attempt to? Like, part of me says we just burn our life. Because we have a we have an incoming dispersion build. So if we can take some of the heat off of Geniza now, he would be thankful. And that's our... Oh, in New Mexico, you're back. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. And yeah, Proto, IGN, the IGN playstyle, like, like, I understand it's fun. Like, it's essentially what the French ships have become, too. Like, Kleber is just a better IGN ship at this point. Au revoir? No, just, wait, did the middle torp hit? No, it was far left, okay. Our port side is good, right? Yeah. We'll flip around, fire our port side, and then I guess we need to go kind of go to the cap, though we cannot stand up against anyone with our current health pool. I, I think the play is maybe just try to be a distraction out here. Oop, oop, navigational hazard, damn it. And we sunk ourselves, right? 
No. Get it turned, get it turned. Secondaries. No, oh, we don't want those. Down we go. Eh, 60k. Two, two kills. I feel proud for what we did. That wasn't like the worst destroy match ever. It wasn't great. But it wasn't too bad. Um, let's do some lightning. I've unlocked her and played like three games in her. So I kind of feel bad because I do love the, uh, the wonderful... Uh, the, the oh-so-wonderful British ships. Ooh, I kind of feel bad for A, but there's nothing we could really do for them. Okay, so we're gonna head towards C. Good, our middle, our mid destroyers, at least it looks like one of them is angling towards A, maybe both of them. Are they in a division? No. Oh, wow, I am the only. Whoo! Kaburashima gearing. Good news, we at least have. Roger. We at least have, whatchamacallit, on them? We have sonar. They don't, none of them do. So if we can knife fight them with in smoke. We may be able to stand up, though it, it, it's going to be rough. I need intelligence but let's see what happens. And what do we got over here? We got Shima. Let's make sure we don't hit any of his torpedoes, just because that is going to be good for him. And follow in. position so that we're ready to break right if we need to escape. Got dumped on. And we are. Yeah, that's this isn't good. And we are down before the torps even hit. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> that, that was quick. Oh, that was okay. Let's let's us bring out our our legendary. We can do that too. Damn it!
Vacation was good. Um, yeah, vacation was good. Stayed at Coronado Springs for the first time in... God, it has to have been a decade and a half. Like, definitely since they brought out the, uh, the, the new tower out there. New tower is beautiful. Um, and then went to DAC the next day. And everything was working. It didn't have a power outage that broke half the park. So... That's also a plus, because that's happened the last couple of days. Ugh. But yeah, got to read a book by the pool. That was beautiful. And then spent the next two days uh, babysitting people in the park. Babysitting uh, people from Snapchat in the park. It was great. Didn't I barely did any, any work this week. What do they have? Figuero, Lightning, Shimakaze. And we got Shima and Gearing. So really, I'm only worried about the Lightning pushing in. To B. Because that could be where we lose out. But let's see. Campaign. Someone finished up their campaign early. Y yeah, the Godzilla camo and the gearing. If anything, it looks like, uh, to me, it reminds me of Blue Tiger from uh, Modern Warfare. Like, that was that was my comment on it. It's my it's my Blue Tiger. Uh, Right? Yeah. Oh, we, of course we lose sight of the champagne the second he goes in. But good news. We know where the lightning is now. Since he smoked up. Let's flush out. Let's push some torps his way so he knows we know where he is. Ooh, Arshima got hit hard. smoke if you want to shoot me. I'm not cool. Take arrow down, and we're gonna go down with it. Let's. Damn. Damn. At least we took down we took down their Kagero, and we significantly kneecapped their lightning. Like lightning needed to stay hidden for the rest of their game. So we did okay. We did we did okay. Um. 
let's bring out good old Benham. How are we doing? Yay, we're not dropping frames this week, which is always good. Night, beautiful. Two brothers. Always a fun destroyer map. Lightning, Benson, Buskaiwa, Fletcher, Asashio, Benham. Here we go. Engine boost, let's get out there. Engine boost activated. And start being fun with torpedoes. What do they have? Well, Skyra Benson Lightning. Okay. We can do this. We can, we can have a good game. Oh, New Orleans, hello there. Damn, New Orleans just got slapped. One, two, three, four. I think they only have one destroyer on this side. Come on, come on. Use that smoke disengage now. Smoke generator started. Okay, well we took out their destroyer. Probably took way too much hit, too many hits taking him out, but let's go bully the Bismarck. While he's in our range. And then I think we've handled the destroyers on our side most likely. They may have one more. We will see. Bismarck has definitely gotten hurt in that play from us. Or do we force them to retreat? Like, this is nice and all, but their base is very much exposed. And I don't know if they have any ships that can get back in time.
if they do, we have plenty of, like, mess around time. Yeah, no, they are out of... Cool, yeah. We are pretty much safe. I don't think any of their ships can get to us if we go for this cap right now. Especially because if they go for it, they are going to have to turn broadside in. And that will not go well for them. Because our team definitely will have crossfires. Come on. There we go. That's what we like to see. for him but now do we get to uh, return the favor here because I think we do yeah yeah we took him down yep I have a feeling I have a fairly good feeling we will be uh, we will be winning that match um, do we take out kid again kid's fun Okay. Push to A, then we'll head on over into B, see what's what, but we're going to need to just drag race. What are we trying to drag race again? A full division of, uh, okay, okay. full division of destroyers. Let's, let's see how this goes. Where do we think they, where do we think a full division gets spawned of destroyers? Or do they break up? Right? Like. Well, we're probably going to go down in a blaze of glory against three destroyers. But let's see what happens. Use the engine boost, just try to get into A. I think with our engine boost we're faster than any of them. Yeah. Because I think we can out drag race a Benson, even if we both put on. Put that on. But we'll see what happens.
are you a jerk? Oh, Mr. Moss, please push in with sonar. Please push in with sonar, bud. Please push in. survived that fairly well. Now if you could just survive this. Well, let's get out of the way of those. Yes, you know, he's sunk, right? He just let out all of his corpse. Bye, bud. We've sunk an enemy destroyer. Our Akatsuki is up. Did we wipe their entire... Yeah, we just wiped. Oh, GG, Daniel, GG. We did just wipe their entire uh, destro destro destroyer squad. There we go. Those are the words I'm looking for. which is okay because it looks like we're just shattering but hey if we can get a fire started that'll be some decent damage spotted by though oh it must that hill must just barely be tall enough for him to be able to spot us Ooh, so surprisingly well holding up well to uh Let's see if AP is any better luck. Nothing. So he's going to take that hit. Good, we got flooding. Should be a perma flood, I think. Oh, yo, is he going to get a double? Good for Akatsuki there. is like we are close I'm worried I'm 
watching the the twist and crack icon and it's moving, so that means their cruiser might be deciding that he wants to do something about me being annoying to their team, which is a distinct possibility. But it looks like that may have subsided. Alright, let's go... Let's go be a destroyer and actually spot. I don't want to go through that front one just because I don't think... I'm worried as to, since we can't see where they are and it's so late game, they could literally be anywhere. So I want to move a little more strategically in back so we're not blatantly out in cover, like caught with our pants down. I mean, we have our torps to knife fight with. Aoba 7.9, but Gaide's torps just came from like over here. So part of me says we just go and start hunting for Gaide. Because he could easily kind of just keep chipping away 100 points at a time. Or like a delta of 100. Put that there in case Aoba wants to swim towards the middle. Because if I was Gaide, I think I'd be going for Ismael. Yep. There he is. Get those shells to hit, please, and thank you. Good news, though. He is running, like, into our backfield. So, if we can go ahead... Hey, Gazi, how you doing? He's running into our backfield, so... His ship should not be able to support... Or, oh. Oh, Miyoko's down. Good job, Ismael. The rover took him out. That's what we like. Hey, we didn't we didn't get the kill, but we definitely supported our team, and that's really what matters there. That's how it's done. Yeah, that was a good match. Hey. Nice work. Look at that. Everyone's being nice to each other. If people say people are shitty on the internet. I mean, I know they are, but still. Hey. Give me some steel. Beautiful. What was, what did we do? Oh, just 3,000 global XP. We'll take it. Um, we haven't played, we haven't gone and played a, oh, whatchamacallit yet. Do we go, do we give in to peer pressure and just go like Shima? I mean, I am. We haven't, we haven't played it though. We'll see what happens. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, man. They got three Yudachi Kagero Kabrosk. Oof. Okay. Good news. We're in a prime spot to do some damage if their side decides to be dumb. Let's see if their side decides to be dumb. I doubt they will, but it could be fun. Who knows? We will see. Uh, it is so magical when your torpedoes have the same range as your as your main guns. Hopefully we start spotting people. Oh, also narrow spread. We do we do not need to go uh, widespread torps on this occasion. There's a pen first. Okay. We hit one there, so or we're just gonna lay this as a precautionary measure just in case they have a, uh, a whatchamacallit, the Kabarosk is in our area. That's really what I'm afraid of. Or in any of their destroyers, because if we get spotted, we're done. haven't had this area contested yet so that's good news for us let's go ahead conquer is going here hey as gavin how you doing today that giant gap right there. Also, is he about to ground? It looks like he's about to ground. that's about where that Yamato was, is it? No, he, Yamato, Yamato definitely saw those torps was like, fuck that, I'm getting out of you. I'm doing good, Yaz Cabin, how about yourself? It's, uh, it's my weekend, so, uh, I'm happy. I played Ratchet and Clank for the majority of today, which has been really good so far. Which, you know, I will always enjoy a, a new game Which way you turning, bud? All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Oh, jeez. We should have saved. We should have held.
Oh, oh, come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Let's go ahead and hit that speed boost, see if we can lay boost these corpses at these Yamatos. They are kind of... They're... Yeah. What about... DK? Yeah, we ran out of time on the Yamato, but GK looks like he is in prime. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Is champagne worth getting? I don't think it is. I mean, so I haven't, like, in my initial review, I was very hesitant, still not thinking she's that great of a ship. If you're a ship collector, like, I I don't think you buy the campaign for the ship this time around. You just do it so you get the bonus insignias and crap. Um, I I just don't think, I think Meta Jerk had a really good um, take on it. He said, basically the ship is balanced for a game we don't play, right? Uh, boom, there goes GK. Uh, we, we play Legends, which is all the spawns are a lot closer in than on the PC counterpart. Well, what that means is you're forced into really short, your shorter range engagements. And Champagne isn't designed for that. Champagne is designed to sit at the back of the map, give you time to get to a flank. Like, it's designed, it's, it's design philosophy is totally incongruent with the game we have um so like i would i would pick her up just in the fear that maybe someday they they decide to go all 10 tiers and they rebalance all the ships or do something like there's a world where you may where you may want it oh my goodness this is gonna they're ramming the yamato right and if they're not ramming it i'm torpedoing it i think i think conqueror is ramming yeah, con Conqueror's full speed ahead. If you play this game regularly, Champagne's nice to have just as another ship to like throw in the port and earn some credits with. Is it, would it be my go-to ship? No, it's probably gonna be like the Azuma where I don't take it out and then hope that one day they buff it or they change it in some way. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, if, if you, if you're like, do I do wait or go for the Georgia go? Like Georgia already seems, I had this rant earlier, but Georgia seems I am worried for the game balance with Georgia, uh, just because it has Yamato-sized guns in Tier 7, which means it can face regularly Tier 6s. Um, so if we thought, like, Yamato's not fun to go against in a Tier 7 cruiser, God only knows what it's going to do to Tier 6s. Yes, there's probably going to be a million and a half overpens, which will, which will you know, benefit it, but still... Um, also, this poor Kavarovsk, man. Um, or will benefit the cruisers, but it's still going to be. It's still... I'm worried. I mean, I'll wait and see, because, you know, that's what we have to do in this game. Wait and see what happens to it. But my current understanding for it, I'm slightly worried on it. Okay. Good game in the Shima. Let's go back to Lightning. Or, actually... We didn't get a good game in Orkin. Let's go play some Orkin. And also, yeah, I'm ready for North Carolina. I, I'm excited to grind through more battleships, which is bad because I already have other battleships to grind through, but 
they'll be fun. Like those are those ships. I really like Tennessee's coming into the game just because now that you can't get a California uh, from the Bureau projects, I think that means I think it's good that we're getting a California esque ship in the Tennessee. Right? It's it's a sister ship. Who knows what they're going to change? It's going to be minor tweaks, but it should still provide that California playstyle, which you know is good for our, which is what is needed. Um, the other, the other thing I noticed is they all had the red, white, and blue camo, so I have a feeling that means we're going to be seeing um, another bureau project. So I don't know if what the end of that bureau project is if they have a surprise in wait for us there or if who knows how do I, I i think there it's literally so if if i was wargaming and i have a feeling we're going to get big us big us battleship crates will be our whatchamacallit, will be introduced as a thing. Um, the other weird thing is, so if you listen to the end of that trailer, there was some Morse code. And if you went and decoded said Morse code, it's uh, aircraft carrier, but in German. The last time they gave us that sort of like warning was the, literally it was that update. They introduced uh the German aircraft or the the regular aircraft carriers. So I don't know Hi bud, you can't hide in your smoke. Did fairly well. Oh, but now you're running out of your zone. We will take it. We will take it. We flip made him flee. And we did significant damage to him. Ooh. Oh, we're detected by Siegfried sonar, probably. I think, like, I have a feeling it's going to be in crates, because um, that's what they usually do when they introduce these lines, like the ship lines. They didn't do it for aircraft carriers, so it's been a minute since they've been able to uh, sell us on on uh, bonus ships, I should say. So that's what I'm expecting, is that we will be getting large you know, small and big battleship boxes, loot crates, whatever we want to call it. But we will see. Yeah, like, I'm excited we're getting ships that we don't have in the game already and that are, like, real ships. I would have definitely preferred a different line, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth, though I definitely would have probably asked for, I don't know, Italian destroyers, maybe? I'm not sure. Or even Italian battleships. Nope, I fucked up. Damn it. Fuck that dodge up. Oh.
Um, yeah, it, new to storyline, like, or even if they did Italian battleships, because we have one commander for him, it would have been nice to, uh, hey, Doroy, thank you so much for the follow. Um, it would have been nice to see something additional. Like, yes, I, I do like the line split. I just, correct me if I'm wrong, because once again, not a World of Warships PC player, but these battleships don't really play any different than the ones we already have, right? It is not like going from a light cruiser to a heavy cruiser where there's a distinct play style between them where you're like, okay, yes, we have a lot of cruisers and, but like light cruisers, the American light cruisers, very different beats from the American heavy cruisers. Uh, but these, the new battleships, from what I can tell, don't really offer any unique gameplay compared to the already in there, rather than other than the fact that they just have new names and new armor layouts. But I could also be crazy. Yeah, the pizza BBs, or yeah, the Pan European destroyers. I'm I'm sure we will get them. I'm also still I still give devs right now um, the benefit of the doubt, just because of what the last year was. Um, like I think it was I think it was Reggie Fizeme was saying that like last year wasn't bad for video games because the games that came out were all so close to the goal line already that going work from home didn't mess up the the flow the work the work too much but now we're get we're going to get into that weird cycle where the work for what for the stuff that is coming out now was all started or you know severely in the work from home cycle so we should i don't know Oh, they're activated. terrible. Okay. Well. That wasn't good. Problem solved, sir. Yeah, that's that's them doing the le legend squish, right? Like, part of me, part of me really hopes that like they they maybe change their minds on going to tier ten, um, just because I think. Now that we're two years in and they've added so many ships and there's been so many campaigns, the compressed line that we've seen, the compressed, uh, the compressed, like, progression is starting to really hurt them when they're trying to do balancing or, you know, squeeze in work that they already have. Um, but I think that that may be like, I think we, we probably have like, a year of this before they would even consider doing a um Ooh, I can see you go down. Oh. Just do that just in case the terrible just gonna do two of these deactivated um I think we get to year three, year four, and maybe that's when they go, oh shit, no, it might be a good marketing push if we start budgeting our time and go, oh, he was.
Oof. Yeah. That was rough going up against our tier 7. And, like, the French destroyers are all just... You get the DPM. Oh, well. Um, let's go back to Z-35. She's so good. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what their final plan is on on the ships it is it does feel very weird that we are getting the other american ships and they aren't fundamentally different from their from like the line but we will see right like free game free ships it's not like they're all premium they're they're in the game we might as well enjoy them i just think yeah the balancing on them is going to be weird and we we will just have to see what is what I, I, yeah what's the latest news um so if you watched the wonderful Prince Blips live stream today, Ships of the Line, which I 100% recommend, because uh, I watched it today while playing Ratchet and Clank. Um, he, this stream was all about Royal Navy cruisers, like it's history of the actual Royal Navy ships. It's it's great, just two hours of straight history. Um, if you if you go to the very end of that, they went and showed off the new the new campaign ships and. Like the teaser, the teaser trailer that they will be releasing. Um, I don't think they've released it on its own yet, which is really weird. You have to go to the end of the two hour live stream if you want to watch it. Um, so in the live stream, they show off new campaign ship. It's the Georgia at tier seven, which is really weird because as I said previously, Yamato sized guns at tier seven, which means you have a distinct possibility of running into Yamato sized guns at tier six now because a tier seven will play a tier six and you know that's that's just what's going to happen um it it will feel weird and wrong um and then we have three new three new battleships coming to We have uh, three new boats. Tactical beaching right here. Look at that. We haven't taken a real hit yet, which is nice. Um, so, three new battleships. One of which is the... I don't think the Mexico... I've been paying attention. Is he going to turn in? Yeah, he's turning again. Okay. Um, which is Tennessee, North Carolina. I'm forgetting what the tier four is. Um, but basically, the new tier four, 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 five, and six American battleship line. So they're splitting the line, but not really because, like, I always feel like line splits have distinct differences between the ships right like there's a there's a very distinction between the the japanese torpedo boats and the japanese gunboats i think it's nevada yeah nevada sounds right um where this is not that distinct difference between them there isn't a big difference between these ships which makes it really odd um but you know free ships more ships to grind yeah, it was, yeah, I think it was Nevada. Um, so there's that. And then also, if you listen to the very end, there is a Morse coded message front. that uh, if you translated was Falcon, it was aircraft carrier. It was aircraft carrier in Morse code. So we have, we have that to expect. Um, it was German. It was, aircraft carrier in German in Morse code. So we should expect that. The last time they put a teaser like that at the end of a uh, at the end of a match or at the end of that preview trailer those came out in that update. Which I would find very weird if we are getting both 
the American tier split and the German aircraft carrier. Now, it could work out because they could do what they did to the uh, to the other aircraft carriers where they just instantly release them and then the new battleships are in the big and excuse me big and small crates if you know what I'm talking about um where they have those the the chance to get them and they are unlo they unlock them the next update they could absolutely do something like that Oh, Aoba, yes. Enjoy that torpedo, Aoba. Beautiful, and a hit on New Mexico. Yep. Come on, Aoba. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. Nice. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, pre-release. That's what they call it. Yeah, they do the, like the pre-release on it. Z30, like, Z35 is incredible. It is, it is becoming, like, one of my, like, I'm not a big German DD player. It is becoming my, one of my go-tos, just because it is, what it feels like is, you know, in, like, Battlefield, or, yeah, let's say Battlefield 3, where the M16 was the dominant weapon, not because it was the best at any one category, but because it was good in a lot of different occasions, that's what the Z35 is. It is not the best at any one look, at any one item, but it is incredible because it doesn't really have any major faults. Yes, it has the lowest DPM for HE, but you can absolutely make up with it um, with just being accurate. Um, and because you have quarter pen, there is something to be said there. Um, yeah, I think. It is a fantastic ship. Okay, Byron, Byron, what are you going to do? But yeah, uh, Z-35, fantastic ship. It feels kind of like uh, what Blaskyla was in year one, where it's like just a good all-round destroyer that if you want to go for the credit grind, it's a beautiful ship because I think destroyers have the easiest time in this game getting high credit value games, especially in domination, because look what we're doing right here. We're going to most likely tag this Bayern with those corps. We're capping. We're going to take the cap. That's going to be worth a good chunk of change. The damage is going to be worth a good chunk of change. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 20,000. Mind you, I do have Sims on this. So he's buffing the the hit points a little like that's one of the things i did because you know it does have the lowest dpm um of any of the tier six has lowest dpm when firing he of any of the tier six destroyers so i was finding myself winning engagements but just by like this much and when you're in a destroyer it's all about like the Hit points are that currency you use, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Goodbye. Uh, hit points are that like what you use to make plays. They are, they are that like if you if you get to a certain point, you know you're just dead the next time you get spotted. Um, and I was finding myself being in close to that kind of um, situation every single time I got out of a one v one destroyer duel in this thing. So that's why I put Sims up just because. He was. Let's see. Hood looks like he's slowing down. Oh, 
yeah, but yeah, good, good buy. I would definitely advise if if you're someone who spends money on premiums or was looking for a premium to buy, and you enjoy destroyer play, you cannot go wrong with the Z35. Um, it is just wonderfully, uh, it's just a wonderful ship overall. Yeah, and also you get quarterback. So, like, we are doing decent damage to this hood. I did not realize that we were losing the game. I definitely took my eye off the ball and went full damage mode there. Oh, and we got a flood on someone? Oh. Hood's flooded. Okay. Now he's going to go down. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Also, like, torpedoes on it, decent. Like, it has 90 second reload, which, like, it isn't the fastest. No, but it gets the job done 90% of the time. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Yes, we, we definitely went full tunnel vision there. Like, I don't want to fire the guns and alert him to where we are. Accelerating, bud? Yeah, you're accelerating. Those aren't gonna hold, are they? Huso's burning. That's good. How are our guys doing? New Mexico, you got full health. Ganiza now. Okay. We're gonna try to go and support Ganiza now. While we flee this way. We'll see if we can will to rebuild Ganiza now and just be a good teammate. Byron stays on that same path. How how in health wise are you? Okay, two Byrons. Oh, it's the Byron we hit earlier. Okay. And that looks like two of those are gonna hit him. Which should and he's gonna open up to our to our ship. One. One, okay. Hey, we'll take one. And this is where I wish I knew if he had will to rebuild. Two point five. Our victory is in sight. Okay.
Ooh, okay. While his plane is up, we might as well Generator started. just start pummeling this guy. Yeah, we're going to win. Okay, close game, but we won. Whew. Yeah. Look, look, look at that as far as credits go, though. 600,000 credits. I, like, there are sometimes I think the, uh, the, the credit calculation on this thing is broken. Because, yeah. 515 uh, with 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 repair costs like that's beautiful absolutely beautiful let's try to get let's try to get a game a good game in the buckwin valaquin I'm just happy we ended up uh, doing it. Um, I think not this game, but the next game is probably going to be last game of the evening. So do we have any requests destroyer wise that we want to see any, any ships that we have that we want to see played? Yeah. For, well, free XP destroyers, it would have to be campaign ships and we've only had Udachi, right? Cause that's the whole thing with the current free XP. Like, that's been the pattern with free XP, is it's old campaign ships. Um, but we will, we will see. Yeah, I mean, I would be down for some GXP destroyers, but I doubt that will ever come. I think they are very happy with their model of, oh, we just get to reuse our old, uh, the old campaign ships, and that way our new players can earn them. Like, that's a good model. Um, one of the theories, one of the ideas that's been tossed around a couple of times has been adding, like, forcing legendary ships onto the back end of of the tech tree and removing them from the, the Bureau and then having Bureau be literally a set, like, one year after one year or a year and a half after it's available in the campaign, it's available in the bureau as a for research. He was like, honestly, I wouldn't mind that. Can, can Hood see us? Whoops. Don't think we... Yeah, we didn't get hit. That's good. I do not have the cleave air anymore. They took it away from us. Um, they lent it us... They lent it to us for like a week and a half, which is like longer than they usually do. But sadly, I do not have Cleave Air anymore. 
as much as I would love to have her. Nelson, do we... Oh, did Nelson dodge that? Good for him. I did not think there was enough room over there for that Nelson to be able to dodge that, but he did. Good for him. Oh no, it was Hood that I didn't think. Mind you, we have seen now, so... Part of me says, do we just uh, go for the suicide charge on Hood and Nelson over there? All right, do we have... We have nearly full starboard torps. Engine boost deactivated. Yeah, I, I had boosted Worcester a lot just because, like, I had liked Worcester in the rental phase. Oh, no, Al Algiers back, okay. Wow, it's first blood. Neither team has taken a hit, taken a kill yet. We'll take it. We will take it. Let Retro call it die down as we take probably a couple rounds. Yeah. Give them something new to shoot at. Genevi. Genevi? Genevi? Problem solved, sir. How long until our right hand torps are good to go? 26 seconds. That hood is playing in a very creative spot. Like, good for him. Radar, but sonar is has it down yet. We're about to have our speed boost too, which makes this a little more survivable. No, someone still has their their whatchamacallit up. That was fun. I felt like we were not doing much. So do we have a do we have a request for one last destroyer to play for the evening?
I don't have Tash can't unfortunately. So I'm I'm at I'm at full on full on them. Having on Kigero, Lightning, having gotten through there. Murder sausage? Okay, we'll play murder sausage. Where is the murder sausage? Mind you, not very good with the murder sausage, but we will play it. Ooh, a carrier game, too. I feel like that's the first carrier game we've had this entire evening. What are we going up in? Ciclob, Jaguar, Acosta. Okay. This should be a fun game. Requesting support. God, I forget just how dumb this thing is. Just how many fucking guns and how many launchers it has. It really is the murder sausage. This thing's a Citadel machine, right? That's what I recall. Well. Switch back to HE. That didn't go as well. We had hoped for, or no AP because he's still sitting there flat broadside. Come on, come on, sausage. The more rear on Carl Rue, is that what I'm doing? Am I just not hitting the Citadel? By aircraft. That's surprising. Oh, well, you're finally gonna shoot back. Fire! 
We're gonna float right out of our smoke, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, not the best game to end, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out this evening. Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Has a fantastic uh, rest of your evening. See ya. YouTube. YouTube, Biggie. YouTube. See you guys.